I had been affiliated with the university unofficially through my brother and my best friend for about six years um, when I found out that I had gotten in. And I was humbled, I think is the best way to put it, that they were gonna give me this opportunity, right? Little, I hadn't been in school formally in 11 years and they were gonna let me come here and, and go to school. In uh, 2003, I uh, joined the military. Um, I didn't really know what I was gonna do for college, didn't know how I was gonna pay for college, didn't know where I was gonna go to college. Um, so the military just seemed like a natural move for me. Um, I was able to get into the Naval Nuclear uh, Program uh, where I met um, my best friend Clay. From there, uh, me and him went to school together and he got a scholarship to Texas A&M. And eventually my little brother got into Texas A&M and they were roommates for two years, which was awesome because now I could come to like what had become my new favorite vacation spot in university, visit my brother and my best friend all in one shot. And that's for me when, um, when I decided that this is where I was gonna go. At this point I had done uh, two deployments and I was finishing up my time as an instructor at the nuclear power school in Charleston. I started weighing my options. Um, what am I gonna do? Do I wanna re-enlist? Well, I knew I didn't wanna re-enlist. I knew I'd, I was almost at 11 years, but it was time to move on. And so that's when A&M shifted from, um, you know, the, if I would have done it differently scenario to this is something I really wanna do. And this is something I definitely can do. It's just a matter of doing it. You know, I gotta figure out what I gotta do. I gotta check my VA benefits. I gotta figure out you know, how to get into college. The Veterans Resource and Support Center played an integral role in me getting to Texas A&M. Actually, the uh, VRSC had told me about the Aggie Ring Scholarship Program and told me that I was a strong candidate for it. So I applied for it and I got it. My other big concern, which was dispelled immediately, um, was that I was gonna be the old guy. Since my little brother was involved with Aggie transition camps, he wanted me to do T camp. I'm almost 30, I'm not going to camp. I'm going to camp, he tells me. All right, I'm going to camp, I guess. So I go to camp and I was, my major worry was, what was this old guy doing here? You know, But it never came up. Everybody in my little DG group was fantastic. So much, I had such a great experience at camp that I actually applied to be a counselor with that organization and my, um, my counselor for my DG ended up becoming a chair and selected me to be one of his counselors. So that was kind of like my first year at A&M was getting back into the college, kind of working through my anxiety about being a non-traditional student and being involved with Aggie transition camps was something that was absolutely integral to the success of uh, me getting over those feelings. I say that the one thing that is unifying across everything is that we are all Aggies here at Texas A&M. And I think that people identify with that sentiment in a way that could put differences in a more marginal category. People could be afraid that they're the old guy. And as a non-traditional student coming from my first experience, I was immediately shown that this is a family here at Texas A&M and this family wants to help everyone in this family and people outside, but definitely people within. And if you're an Aggie, you're here, that's all that matters. My name is Ryan Stark Purdy and this is my Aggie story.